Hey, 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 it's Jay Coleman, a.k.a. They Call Me Rabbit. That's right, guys, what's up? And this is the very first video up on Zephix Education. And basically what this channel is, guys, anything educational. I don't care if it's a tutorial. I don't care if it's a how to play better at COD. As long as you're learning something, it's going to go up on this channel. And it's going to be the first of its kind uh, up on the Vizio BB TV, Broadband TV, in case you didn't know. Um, that's going to be the very first of its kind, and that's what we're shooting for to be a little different, guys. And, of course, we got the main channel. That's going to be all of our speed arts, any graphic design stuff. Anything and everything goes on the main channel. It does not matter. You got it. You want to watch it, put it up there. Um, guys, don't forget, we also got uh, ZTV, Zephix TV fame. That's going to be where we basically shape up the guys without the HD um, I'm not going to accept you know easy cap stuff up there guys but I would love to see so at least some Roxio rendered out in HD now guys basically what I got here um, is a uh, Photoshop CS6 and um, what I'm going to show you how to do here is something not a lot of people even pay much attention to but it's the little details that make a difference sometimes that make you stand apart from the rest and I'm going to teach you how to make a favicon Favicon, that's right. And a lot of you are probably like, what in the world's a Favicon? Well, I'm going to tell you what a Favicon is, what it's about, and uh, why it kind of makes you stand out a little bit. So let's get to it, guys. Let me go ahead and open up my page here. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. And if you look up here in the bar, okay, you got this little YouTube emblem right there. Uh, that's a Favicon. A Favicon is what shows up in the browser. Now, if you do not have a favicon on your website you will get the icon or favicon of whatever browser you're using whether it's um, you know Mozilla Firefox whether it's Internet Explorer, Explorer or Google Chrome usually they'll just throw up whatever uh, their favorite <clears throat> excuse me whatever their favicon is so let's go ahead whoops let's go ahead and title this favicon F A V I Con. C O N. Okay. Now we're going to put the height and width 65 and 65. Okay, that's all you need. Go ahead and hit it OK. And you can see it's pretty small. I understand that. Let's go ahead and uh, click this little magnifying glass. We'll blow it up a little bit. Get a good little size here. Hit our text button. And we're just going to do a ZTV. Now, ZTV. Now, guys. I know that looks a little bit, um, let's drop that back a little bit so it doesn't look so bad to you guys. Okay, so basically, on my website, on ZTV or VTG or RGX, wherever, <laughs> wherever we've been, um, I like to put up a favicon. That way when you guys go and you put in, let's say for instance, let's go back up here to YouTube. Let's say for instance, we go to a YouTube channel. Oh wow, this is my very first YouTube channel ever. If you notice these links here, let me turn it off. These links here, it says RGX website. Now this is my very first channel, that's why it still says RGX. But it's got the VTG logo, okay? Or Favicon. So when you upload this Favicon, it's going to show up on your YouTube channel when you put the link in. It's going to show up in your browser bar. It's going to show up in the little small places. If not, if you don't install this favicon, guess what happens? You get this little world em emblem here that they kind of stick on everybody. As long as you're on the web, they're going to stick that on you. So, um, you know, that's basically what that's about. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to make a favicon. And I'm sure there's many other ways, but this is the way that I found seemed to work for me. And um, let's go ahead and do a color overlay. Let's make it a color you can see pretty good, even if it's not our normal color. And let's do an outer glow on that. Normal. Change it to black for a nice little standout. Or make it pop a little bit, I should say. Okay, that works. Okay, now let's go ahead and drop that back to its original size so you guys can see exactly. Oh, wonderful wonder wonder wonderful that's kind of froze up on me there let's go ahead and hit it again there we go okay so basically that's about the size of our favicon something like that it's very small 
Okay, now once you've made this, Photoshop, as far as I know, um, you cannot save a favicon or a ICO file, is what is also known. Um, as far as I know, you can't. So basically, we're going to go ahead and save this. Let's do because I don't want it to. Um, you want to save it as a favicon on um, when you're making this, but I don't, I'm not going to do it here because for some reason. I'm going to type some numbers on there. Don't you do that. When you do it, it has to say favicon. Uh, usually when you go to upload it to your uh, website, um, it has to say favicon. So let's go ahead and save that, which I just did. And uh, I'm not going to, no, I don't need to save that. We're going to X that out. Okay, now, I already have one here, so I'm going to delete this blue one. I already have a yellow one ready to go, because that's going to actually go up on our website. Okay. So, the other way I found out how to do it, you got Format Factory right here. And we're going to open this up. Now, Format Factory you can find, find on the web for free. It's asked me to download the latest version. No, not right now. And um, it's simple. You can convert many different types of files. MP, uh, you can, uh, excuse me, you can convert audio to MP3, um, any video file to any video, video file. If you have, let's say, a background and it doesn't fit on YouTube it's real simple drop it in the format factory and you can change it even if you change it to the same if it's a JPEG change it to JPEG that makes this sm the file smaller it compresses it so right here it says all to ICO so basically all you do you drop the file in drag and drop find which one you want which we want an ICO which is also known as a favicon which is a 64 by 64 Yes, I made a 65 by 65 in Photoshop, but luckily for us, the Format Factory will do the rest of the work for us. So we click on this, and we go up here to Start. It's that simple. Output Folder. And there is our favicon. Just like that. Now, if you notice, it looks a little bit different. Yep, it definitely looks a little different. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more webby looking. It's got the, you can kind of see the, um, how should I put this, the um, pixels in it. Now, we have our favicon right there. We have a website, and I'm not saying this is going to be our website. Um, we've used it for a while. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and make a new website. And it's going to be a little bit more professional. Um, but if you notice our toolbar up here, this used to be the old VTG which now I'm going to change over to the STV and um, guys this is pretty cool I got a little banner here let you know all the news that's going on you can click here it'll let you know what's going on in your channel and uh, you can download this on our website and uh, it also has a Skype and it also has a file sender you can send large files check your emails right on your toolbar a little radio it's really neat so I've had it set up to where um, I hit my button here and it takes me right to our website. Um, yes, this says VTG. We're not in the. We haven't finished, um, you know, changing everything over quite yet because we just found out that I have um, been accepted to um, Broadband TV and Vizio Broadband TV. So um, that's the whole point of the move. Now, guys, I know a lot of you are like, oh, my God, this guy is network hopping. Trust me, guys, it had to be done. If not, um, we would have just, you know, basically would have been stuck where we were. And, um, you know, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to be stuck um, under someone else, and that's just as simple as that. Nothing against anyone else, but, you know, I'm my own person. I came onto YouTube. Uh, to make something happen and that's exactly what I'm gonna do and it's gonna benefit everyone that's with me a lot more than if you were with me on BTG or if you're with me on um, RGX it's gonna benefit you so so much more so guys just hang out with me I understand it. it's a pain in the butt um, you guys don't understand everything that's going on now I just uploaded this favicon this ICO into our file here and that's all you do once you upload it that's it drop it in and forget about it and um, that is one of the cheaper websites the drop and drag is what they call it and uh, we are working on a real professional background and that's what we're you know we're ready to do um, but to let you guys know a little something about what happened I was with RGX all of us were or most of you were and um, 
you know, we were under TGN. I had a lot of bad people coming at me. You know, they try to be your best friend, but they're coming at you for money. Money that I know, daggone well, they didn't owe me. I didn't owe them. And if they could have gave me a legitimate reason why I owed money, sure enough, I would have paid it. I don't like that. But when you can't give me a legitimate reason why I owe you, I'm sorry. I can't deal with that kind of stuff. And that's all the, That's all I was dealing with on RGX. Um, a manager I had, uh, Daniel, a.k.a. Warrior, uh, goes and gets his own um, network. And it's under himself, which is great. We wanted it for RGX. That way we could break free. But he got it under uh, Vision TV. Now, he asked me to come with him, uh, which I did. But it just didn't feel right. I have been the owner and founder of RGX for so long that you know I just didn't have the say so that I needed and um, you know I'm a nice guy it's not like I'm a, a power hungry monster everyone knows that knows me I'm a very fair person very you know polite and I treat everybody the same um, try my best to and um, just it didn't it didn't work out let's just put it that way so I took all the necessary steps that I needed to do uh, I was accepted by Broadband TV, Vizio slash Broadband TV. Um, I took all the necessary tests and applications and all this great stuff, and it's a whole lot of stuff you got to do. And um, I passed it. You know, out of about a hundred people, only five were chosen, and I was one of them. Um, they liked everything I had to say, and um, they gave us the deal. Now the deal is, we do have to open these channels. We got to get some views up there. And we got to get directors in here so they see that we do know what we're doing, that we know how to run a network. So, guys, I really need you to help. And I know most people are like, oh, yeah, you'll just move in a week. Trust me, this is the last step, guys. There is no more moving. We will not go anywhere else. This is it. Is I'm not going. This is it. I mean, there's no higher than this. You just can't go any higher than where we're at right now. So now all we do is build. So guys, if you want to be with me and want to be with me for the long haul, Zephix is where it's at. Zephix TV, Zephix Fame, which is going to be guys with a little less than HD quality. Uh, I do expect rendered HD from a Roxio or a Dazzle, no easy caps. Um, also on um, ZTV, excuse me, ZTV um, or Zephix Education Channel, which is this is going up on anything educational. I don't care what it is. If you're learning, you put it up. Even if it's a gameplay where you're teaching somebody uh, a glitch or teaching somebody how to be a better player, that goes up on education. So guys, we're going to give them something different. That's what they want. That's what they're going to get, and we're going to bring it to them, guys. So guys, anyways, video is wrapping up, or I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks a lot. I appreciate everything you've done. Stick with me. Because I tell you right now, this is going to benefit each and every one of you. And I have an announcement explaining all this way better than I did this time. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown and let you guys know that there were a lot of friends that I told I would come back for that I wasn't allowed to bring with me to Vision that will be welcome here on Zephix Network. And I'm telling you right now, guys, we got a whole rack of people that's just been waiting. And now it's time to do it. Now it's time to get moving. So let's get it going, guys. Apply as a director on the channels, and we'll have that. Uh, excuse me. We'll have a website up and running in no time. Uh, for now, you can go to the old VTG slash RGX website, and all the forms for Zephix partnership, directorship, all that stuff will be right there. So get on over there, guys. Apply. Apply on the channels for a directorship. Please subscribe to the channels. Please view and like. Let's get this thing popping off. Tell your subscribers. We have branding kits as well. That way you guys can go ahead and represent like we need to because there is going to be no other network. This is the third time. Third time's a charm. Let's knock it out the park, guys. They call me Rabbit, owner-founder, and I'm out.